Aini is a concept central to the Carol cosmology. Sacred reciprocity is what it's called. And it's that reciprocity of I'll give to you with the intention or the expectation that some time in the future I'll receive. Maybe not from you directly, but that spirit works in such a way that if I'm giving of myself to the world, that I will receive back. And that there's a beautiful flow, an ebb and flow in this exchange of Aini. There are two other parts that make the concept and living principle of Aini all the more tangible and real. And the first one is Minku. And that is the concept of having a need. If you think of Aini going ahead and giving, Aini wouldn't be making any sense if there wasn't a need, if there wasn't something to give to, if there wasn't a receptor to what is being offered. Minku is like the birth of a child. A child comes into this incarnation totally in need. And in a state of need, there can be a reciprocal relationship engaged. There can be an offering of help, support, nurturing, assistance. And that cannot happen unless there's first a need. So need really propels Aini. It propels the sacred reciprocity. It gives a place for the giving to be received. And there is another component to Aini itself besides the reciprocity that's put into motion by a need and by a giving spirit. And that is the concept of Mita. The concept of Mita talks about service in a bigger way. Mita talks about service to the community itself. It talks about service to the Aini, service to our evolution, service to the planet, service to consciousness itself. So Aini is sacred reciprocity. It's based and propelled ahead by need, and it rises over time once the reciprocal relationships are established and engaged to a resourcefulness and an ability to give in a bigger, broader sense, to give in a way of Mita that really serves the world. Mm -hmm.